Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna be making some crispy salt and pepper fried catfish. Let's go. So first thing you need to do is to make sure that your catfish are nice and clean and nice and pat dry. I say this all the time when I'm frying stuff, make sure that your stuff is completely dry because it'll make the end product nice and crispy. So as you see, I'm just seasoning it lightly with a little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper to taste. I'll talk about that in a second. Then a little bit of mustard. Then you want to mix that all up together to make sure that that mustard is all up in that catfish. And you can use an egg if you don't if you don't want to use mustard, but mustard is, is fine because it gives it a nice little flavor as well. So now y'all for the breading, I had some extra fish fry that I just had in my refrigerator. So I used uh, about a cup and a half of that. And then I went in with about a cup of flour, a little pinch of salt, and about two tablespoons all together of uh, fresh cracked black pepper. And the reason I like to use fresh cracked black pepper and actually coarsely ground fresh cracked black pepper is because I had this salt and pepper fried catfish when I went to Winston-Salem, North Carolina a few months ago. It's actually where my grandma's from. And so we went to the seafood spot and they had this salt and pepper fried catfish with this just coarse uh, ground black pepper and it was so good and peppery and y'all I just I really really could not get enough of it so I wanted to share it with y'all in case y'all have not seen it before so anyway I just mixed that all up together dipped that catfish up in there to make sure that it is nice and coated with that breading all over it you can see that pepper peppered all over there I just wanted to say that <laughs> and yeah I just shook it all off like I always do it and that catfish is looking really really good this is actually blue catfish i've used this before in other videos so now on to the oil so i the oil is about 300 it's at about 350 degrees fahrenheit and i just placed that catfish in there uh i placed it in like the fleshier side down first just to control the color of the top a little bit more since that is the presentation side and i want to just make sure i'm kind of like controlling how brown the top gets so then I place my little splatter girl on the top and after about three minutes or so on that first side, I just want to flip it over and you'll see it's a nice golden brown color, not burnt at all, nice and crispy looking and this is how you want your catfish to look. So I let the catfish cook on that second side for about three to four more minutes and then flipped it over maybe once or twice as needed just to make sure it was nice and golden. And this is what you have. That's how that catfish looked. So now this is my second catfish fillet. This is like the mama. This, the one I just cooked was like the little baby one. This one is huge and fleshy. And even when I put it in the pan, the temperature went down. So I had to, you know, make sure I raise the temperature up a little bit just to make sure it gets nice and crispy. And it did. That catfish right there is... It just it, it's it's beautiful and you can see well you can't see it on that side because that's the bottom side but that black pepper that coarse ground black pepper it's all up in there there we go and it's just it's such an interesting taste and I really really just cannot explain it y'all got to try this out yourself because if you love black pepper like I do this 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 catfish right here this catfish right here is definitely gonna hit the spot so I'm just showing y'all the final final presentation just served it with a little bit of tartar sauce a little bit of lemon. I like to squeeze a little bit of lemon on my fresh fried fish. <laughs> I'll say that three times fast. And yeah, y'all, this is what we have. That catfish is so meaty and so crispy and so tender on the inside still. Meanwhile, I almost forgot to get on my hot sauce. I don't even know what I was thinking. How can I have some fried fish without no? I don't. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Sorry, y'all, for that. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, this is this is really what I was doing with it. Y'all saw the phone. Y'all understand. Don't 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 come at me. I don't normally do this when I'm just cooking and not uploading. But y'all, this catfish was really good and. The flavor is second to none. You really got to try this out yourself to really understand what I'm talking about. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you try the recipe out, definitely let me know down below in those comments what you thought of it. If you share the video, like I always say, you can subscribe to the channel. If you like what you see, you'll see more videos just like this. I upload every single week. Thank y'all to all of my subscribers and the watchers and everybody. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.